Hey everybody, we're going to go over a little bit of some tempo operations today. Now this all started because I'm working on a movie score and in the score we've been trying to come up with some transitions and some sections before and after other sections and Logic has kind of a quirky way of setting tempos previous to other tempo changes. For instance, say I've got this drum loop here. Let's actually add a quick keyboard part to it as well. So this is at 120. So we have a keyboard part now. Now first of all, say I want to move the tempo here to be a different tempo. Let's start by setting a tempo here to 120, putting a node point, and then let's change the tempo here. See what's happening when I change this earlier tempo? It's moving the MIDI data back. <laughs> No longer exactly in time. Now the reason the drum didn't move back is because I have it locked to Sympty. That's time code. So let's undo that change and let's also lock down this particular MIDI file. An interesting thing about lock to time code or lock to Sympty is that even if I change the tempo here, it doesn't move and the MIDI data no longer changes tempo. So that's one way of locking things down to a point in the picture and being able to change things around. So, if we want now to go back and compose earlier, we can lock these to Sympty. Let's change tempo now at the beginning. That's going to change tempo because it's an Apple loop. This stuff, however, remains exactly in the same place no matter what. So it's going to reference the same point in the picture no matter what happens. Now, even though the tempo moves across there. Now one interesting thing happens here, and that is the automation data that I wrote earlier has all shifted over. So this was originally earlier, and if we go back and change the tempo back, 120 it moves back interesting so the automation is actually tempo based and locking the region does not lock the automation to Sympty as well we got to do that separately you can do this two ways one of them is by clicking the track opening up the automation event list that's a keyboard command only there's no menu for it and it's Control Command E. Interestingly enough, once that open, you can open up an additional range window, Command 1, and this is going to show you automation, and only automation for those tracks. You can see it right there a little bit. There's no information like audio or MIDI data, it's just a region which shows you automation. You can come in here select any of these items and you can lock Sympty position do that all of them one track at a time or you can simply click these regions say lock to Sympty close this down and all of a sudden if we change tempo the automation is now staying put let's zoom out a little bit now another thing I recommend when doing this is using the different alternatives for the tempo. So say alternative 1 is this cue right here. Let's go to alternative 2 and make this for the beginning cue. Now let's take this down in tempo. The loop stretches out. Let's play a little bit of keyboard over this with the other patch I have. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect, except the fact that it didn't actually record. What is that key command? Um, we should set that up here. One of the great things about Logic is that it's always recording MIDI, even when you play it. And if we add the capture recording keyboard shortcut, which I may have missed out on, no, I didn't. Click that, and whatever you played last actually gets made into a region. Kind of a cool little button. There's a keyboard command, which I never remember. 